Hello everybody, it is Storyteller Naomi and Poppy with Reading with Royalty. We are so excited to be here reading for you today. Have you all been enjoying your summer holidays? Well, I have and so has Poppy. Guess what everybody? School should be starting for you very soon. I know when I was going to school, I was a little nervous to meet all of the new kids that may be in my class. Well, Poppy here wants you to know that meeting new friends doesn't have to be scary. It can actually be quite fun and wonderful. As you can see here, Poppy has brought along a lot of their teddy bear friends. We have Phoenix the teddy bear. We have Chibi the monkey. We have Spiky the unicorn. We have Blocky the elephant. And we also have Kitty. So between myself and Poppy and their friends, we are going to listen to today's stories. And today's stories is all about friendship. Hopefully, these stories will help you meet new friends when you go back to school in a couple of weeks. So let's sit back and enjoy our stories about friendship. All right, everybody. Our very first story today is The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. It is by Dan Santet. And it is by the publishing house Scholastic Inc. I wonder what adventures Beagle is going to get up to. Oh, right away, I can see we're going to have a lot of imaginary friends. But poor Beagle here is all by themselves. I wonder why. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for a turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. So we have lots of imaginary friends here. We have this panda bear. We have this octopus. We have this flying cat. And over here, we have Beagle. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. <gasps> what did Beagle do? Well, it looks like Beagle is on a boat down over here. I wonder where he's going. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. <gasps> No one stopped to hear the music. Oh no, and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. Can you guess what he saw? I think he saw one of his imaginary friends. He had a good feeling about this place. But he looked everywhere, and he could not find his friend. So, Biko followed his imaginary friend to the playground. And can you guess why the playground is so colorful? That's right, because all of these imaginary friends were with their children. We have the octopus that was on the first page. Over here we have this monster. Over here we have this cloud, and over here we have a whale. He climbed to the top of the tree and looked out. 
wishing and hoping his friend would come. Biko is climbing very high on that tree. But no one came. Poor Biko. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! <sighs> this person is giving Biko a drawing. Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. So she drew a picture of Biko grabbing the drawing from her. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, they're starting to giggle. They realize they were perfect together. So here, they're giggling together. And she says her name is Alice. Right here, Biko has a question mark above their head. Alice's name, Biko. Biko! Biko says, I'm Biko. And then Alice says, hi, Biko and hugs Beagle. Aww, because remember, the kids named their imaginary friends. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They're eating cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? I like chocolate cupcakes. They told funny jokes. <laughs> and these people here are going, huh? I don't get it. <laughs> and here, Biko is looking up to the clouds and Alice is drawing Biko here. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. So here we have Beekle and Alice and all of their new friends with their imaginary friends. So remember, when you go to school in a couple of weeks, it is easy as Beekle meeting Alice. You just have to go up to them and introduce yourselves. And guess what, everybody? You too will have tons of laughs and tons of jokes. How wonderful. All right, everybody, sit down. We are going to do a small body break. All right, everybody. So our body break today is going to be an action song. You can do this action song with your new friends when you meet them in class. And at the end, I want you to come up with one of the actions to do with your friends. The song we're going to do today is the song, If You're Happy and You Know It. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, everybody. So let's do that again, just a little bit quicker. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend, hug a friend. 
If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend, hug a friend. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, hug a friend, hug a friend. All right, everybody, did you come up with an action? Let me know in the comments of this video and make sure you do it with your new friends when you meet them next year in your class. All right, everybody, sit back down for a second story. All right, everybody, so our second story is going to be You Hold Me Up, and it is written by Monique Graysmith and Danielle Daniel, and it's from the Orca Book Publishers. Monique Graysmith says, This book was written in the spirit of reconciliation and dedicated to the children, families, and staff of Aboriginal Head Start programs. So, you hold me up. You hold me up. When you are kind to me. When you share with me. So here we can see this person sharing their apple with this person. When you learn with me. Even the robin here is learning with the kids. You hold me up when you play with me. So these two here are dancing. When you laugh with me. When you sing with me. You hold me up when you comfort me. When you listen to me. When you respect me. Aw, they're exchanging sunflowers. You hold me up. I hold you up. We hold each other up. So everybody, that was You Hold Me Up. I particularly enjoyed all of the drawings in this book. We certainly saw a lot of the indigenous culture. We saw individuals with braids in their hair, with beating and playing the traditional drums. All right, my bubble gums, I hope you all enjoyed our stories today all about friendship. And I hope when you start school in a couple of weeks, you too will make a ton of new friends. So from me, Naomi, Poppy, and our new teddy bear friends here today, we all wish you a wonderful start to a new school year. All right, that's all we have for you today. Bye, everybody. Bye.